Yeah, very good evening, everybody, and welcome to Toaster Greyhounds. Uh, the Greyhounds are on parade for race at number one. Do note that Trap 6, Dun and Capri is a non-runner. Found to be in season, Trap 6 is vacant for our first race of the evening. Give you further details of one or two further non-runners throughout the evening in a couple of minutes' time. So race at number one, then, is an A10 graded event. Trap 1 is Capican Jill for Emma Richards. Trap 2 is Cooladerry Jojo for Jim Reynolds. 3 is Colonel Paddy for Emma Richards. 4 is Cashin on Zoe for Heather Demick and Five is Mina Angel for Jane Hofton. Trap six is vacant. Found to be in season. A five dog race for our first of the evening. So let's have a quick look down the market, shall we, for race at number one tonight. So trap one, Cavacan Jill, seven to four. Uh, trap two, Kula Derry Jojo, two to one. Trap three is Colonel Paddy at five to one. Trap four, Cashin on Zoe, four to one. And trap five, Mina Angel, available at seven to two. Trap six is an absentee. With you off, everybody, in about a minute and 30 seconds time for race number one. The grade is A10. It's the download the toaster race course, Upstakes. So our first favourite of the evening, Justin Trap 1, Capricorn Jill here at 7-4 for Emma Richards. Trap 2, Cooler Dairy Jojo, second in for Jim Reynolds, available at 2-1. to one. It's a puppy in Trap 2. That's Trap 4 you're looking at. It's cashing on Zoe for Heather Dimmock in October 2016 at Greyhound. And she's making her debut this evening. Okay, everybody, we're loading up for race number one. Evie's checking the Greyhounds over for our first race of the evening. The grade is A10 here. Market leader, Trump 1, Cavakin Jill with Kuldaleri, Jojo. Our market leader's in red and blue. So I started then, waves the flag for the first. The low six is on its way for race at number one here tonight. One and two of the market leaders here, and away we go. We're trapped two. Culladary Jojo got up well to lead up with three, four, five, and one as they go into the first bend here. The blue jacket of two is on the bunny. Colonel Paddy's in second. They go back to one, four, and five, but they come off the second bend. It's two and three. The nip and tuck going into the third bend, but it's now that Culladary Jojo has struck the front here from three. One back in third. Capricorn Jill as they come off the final bend. It's Culladary Jojo seeing them home in good style here from three. One back in third. They go to the line. If you're on the blue, you're on the winner. Two wins well for from three, one was third, two, three, one. So confirming the result, first touch two, Culladary Jojo for Jim Reynolds, second three, Colonel Paddy, third one, Cabakin Jill, that's the one, two, three, two, three, one, winning time, two, nine, three, one, 29, 31.
You're looking fresh. Yes, yeah, so your winner then for race number one of the evening, the download the toaster race course ab stakes. Kula Derry Jojo for Jim Reynolds. You have to go. Okay, the, our winner has to shoot, I'm afraid, because he's got one in the next. So we'll let him go. I've got a group of men that are going to come in and have a chat with us. Uh, they're a bit late, a bit, a bit late off the mark, and that kind of tells the story of why they're here tonight. So we've got Kenny who's coming first. Come on, come on lads, get a move on, will you? Come on. You'll be half an hour. This is the story of your life, Kenny. Getting off the mark quite late, aren't you? So Kenny's celebrating uh, the birth of his, his baby boy, Teddy. Yeah. So tell us a bit about Teddy. Well, yeah, Teddy was born on Monday, Monday afternoon. Um, my first little biological son, um, amazing. Um, all I can say is that the boys are out tonight to celebrate his birth and all we want to do now is celebrate my little boy and we're having, we're, we're having a boys night out to just drink for Teddy and, and more than that, I had the first race, the winner of the first race. Yeah. What, what, what better than that? So, <laughs> so I was talking to your buddy here beside you uh, just a minute ago and he said, Sam is your lovely lady and uh, she's a twin. Yeah, she, yeah, she's a swing, and this, this is the, the, the boyfriend of my. She's a, um, she's an identical twin, um, and this is her boyfriend here now. So is this the identical twin or the boyfriend? No, he's oh. the he's the boyfriend of the identical twin. Oh, okay. The, the lady. Okay, this get very complicated here. Okay. I, uh, so, <laughs> so we're getting interrupted at all angles here. We've got our photographer. Come on, Jim, take the photo. So um, we've got our winners here. Obviously, the guys are celebrating the, the birth of, uh, of Kenny's baby. So they're all having a good night. But just go back. We're a little bit quick off the mark. Our winner then was Kula Derry Jojo for Jim Reynolds and Jim Reynolds. So good winner for Jim. We got the lads. Lads, listen, have a great evening. Enjoy the fun, right? There's 10 races to go and hopefully you get many more winners. Cheers, fella. So... There we have it then for race number one. Just a couple of things to tell you all tonight. Download the app. Download the Toaster Race Course app to be in with a chance of winning our cash prize in the Imperial Car Supermarket Big Cash Giveaway. All you have to do is download the app, press competition, press enter. Your name will go into a draw and you'll be in with a chance of spinning our wheel. Uh, race number seven and uh, whatever the number lands on, Whatever number that is, if it wins race number eight, you could be in with a chance of winning a thousand pound cash prize. So download the app, click enter, or click con click competition, and click enter. Uh, as well as that, children's race, race number six on the card tonight. Always the children's race. Any children in the house who want to get involved, come down and see us here in the winner's enclosure. We'll get you in and have an interview. But as I said, race number one, we start off with a bang, uh, big congratulations to Kenny with his new baby. Um, congratulations to our winner, Jim Reynolds, owned and trained. And uh, yeah, listen, sit tight, it's going to be a busy one. So a nice win for Colour Derry. Jojo the winner, two to one. Second three, Colonel Paddy, five to one. One, Cavakin Jill was a seven to four favourite. That was race. Number one. Do note in race number two, trap two will be vacant. Uh, further non runners to tell you about everybody on tonight's card are as follows. Uh, 902, race number six, a hurdle race. Trap one, Dunham Southey, found to be lame. That's now a five dog race. That's the 902. Race number six, H1 hurdle event. Trap one, Dunham Southey, found to be lame. That's now a five dog race. Uh, the 919, race number seven, an A3 event. Trap four, Magical Dreamer is out in season. That's trap four, vacant. In the 919 race number seven, trap four vacant. And in race number nine, the 953, a B1 event, trap six, Boyle Sports Duke is lame. Trap six will be vacant. That's race number nine, trap six vacant, 953.
Paloma Faith is coming to Toaster. Only love can hurt like this. See Paloma live at Toaster Racecourse on Saturday the 28th of July. I just came in love. Tickets on sale now at ticketmaster.co.uk. Yeah, so we're live back again here at Toaster. Just a quick uh, note with our non-runners for this evening. So obviously race number one was trap six, race two, trap two, race six, trap one, race seven, trap four, and race nine, trap six. So a few non-runners on the card, unfortunately, tonight, but they've all got their reasons. So I'll just go through them again quickly, just in case you want to write them down. Race two, trap two, race six, trap one, race seven, trap four and race nine trap six so you've just seen our adverts you've just seen our imperial car supermarket i'm going to say it again all you got to do is download the app click competition click enter you'll be in with a chance then of spinning our wheel for then a chance to win a thousand pound cash prize here tonight at toaster as well as that children's race race number six always race number six come down get involved Race one is over. We've got uh, 10 races left on the card. Plenty of good action coming on. We've got a sponsored race next with the mini owner's bonus series final. Unfortunately, as I said, trap two is vacant, but uh, still a good race ahead of us. We'll have a look through it now in a, in a few moments time. But um, yeah, plenty to look forward to. Get involved.
ladies and gentlemen, our second race of the evening, race number two is in a 10 event where trap two is vacant. Here are the runners starting off with trap one, Governor's Bob for Mr. B.S. Dunnan, Mr. D. Martin, Jim Reynolds, 30.2. Trap two vacant, three is I'm Mary for Mr. M. Richards, Emma Richards, 26.6. Four, Dunham Diesel, Dave and Jane Hofton, 26.3. Five is Dark Valley for Jim Reynolds, 28.3. And six is Dunham Lady for Dave and Jane Hofton, 26 dead. Five runners for race number two. Trap two is vacant. Let's have a look at the betting, shall we? Where trap one, Governor's Bob is three to one. Trap two, empty. Three, I'm Mary, seven to one. F trap four, Dunham Diesel, seven to four. Trap five, or warm favorite, Dark Valley, Jim Reynolds runner 11 to 10 and 6 Dunham Lady available at 6 to 1 11 to 10 favoured in 5 3 minutes to the off race number 2 Well, Jim Reynolds, the young puppy here, Trap 5, Dark Valley, our 11 to 10 market leader for race number two here this evening. has had a couple of decent second places, yet to win in four starts, but showing enough aptitude to suggest this little pup is just about to win its first race. That's Trap 5, Dark Valley, the market leader at the moment at 11 to 10. Two minutes to the off, two minutes to the off, race at number two. Just remind you everybody that uh, there will be coverage of tonight's World Cup game, which is just about to get underway. Croatia and Nigeria just about to kick off in what, uh, around about five minutes' time. Uh, runners on the approach of race number two. There's a trap six, Dunham Lady, one or two runners for Jane Hofton. That's trap one, Governor's Bob. Like trap five, Dark Valley is only a puppy, another Jim Reynolds runner. Trap one, three to one. Uh, trap three, seven to one. Trap four, seven to four. Trap five, steady, 11 to 10 favourite. And six, six to one. One minute to the off for race number two. Eleven to ten to field, everybody. Last chance to get those bets on it. Eleven to ten to field. Okay, everybody, we're loading up. Loading up for race number two. Like race number one, just the five runners for this one. Trap two is vacant. Evie checks them over. Here we go for race uh, number two. It's the Mini Owners Bonus Series final here. £500 and a trophy to the winner. The low six is on its way for race number two. Market leader trap five. Away we go. We're four banged out with three, one, six and five into the first band of four and three lead up together. As we go off the second band here and it's three, I'm Mary on the inside of four, Dunham Diesel. One on the inside, Governor's Bob. Five's got running to do and six, Dunham Lady struggling. Down the far side and three, but here comes one, Governor's Bob. Five needs room, but he is starting to stay on back into third, but it's one, Governor's Bob out in front for Jim Reynolds. His other runners moved into second, Dark Valley, but the kind of mate in trot one's getting the better of five here and Governor's Bob goes home for the money. One on it from five, six, third. Third, one five six. One and two, uh, Jim Reynolds, uh, Mr. B. Dinan, and Mr. D. Martin. Governor's Bob at the eleventh time of asking has got his nose in front. A good time to do so as well. Five hundred pound and a trophy for winning the uh, owners bonus series final. Winning time two nine oh five twenty nine oh five.
Well, it was four and three. Put the race uh, pace to the race, wasn't it, into that first bend. You can see five just had a little bit too much to do in the end. But Governor's Bob, who hadn't won until tonight, showed really good gears down that far side, this youngster. Isn't two until September. And it's done enough to be his kind of mate into second place. So well done to Jim and Connections. Governor's Bob winning race at number two. Yes, so your winner then of the Mini Owners Bonus Series Final. Race number two on the card is Governor Bob. Second winner on the card for Jim Reynolds and Mr. B.D. Dinnan. B, sorry, B.S. Dinnan and Mr. D. Martin. So Governor's Bob returned to three to one. There, your winner. Second home was Dark Valley for uh, Jim Reynolds again. And third was number six, Dunham Lady for Jane Houghton. So our winner's just coming in then for our presentation. He looks a little bit shy. <laughs> right, guys, you got to look at this camera. Look this way. Well, we're going to have a chat with our connections now for a second. So, guys, just stay around for a sec. We're going to have a chat with Johnny because it's his birthday. Yay! Just, just stay there, Johnny and Kat. You're organising. Just all stay there. Stay there for a second. Just have a chat with with Mick uh, a second. With to the, good race, Mick. This and good sponsorship. Great, great idea and incentive uh, for Toaster. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, we have the owner's bonus series, the mega series, the mini series. We have the gain stakes. Remember, Torsa is the home of the graded competitions. We have more competitions for graded dogs than any other track in the country because owners at Torsta are important, Jimmy. And as you say, we are the home of them races, but also the home of the best of all, the Star Sports English Greyhound Derby. So, and again, a great performance a few weeks ago. I know it's a bit of a lull afterwards, but... With Toaster, I, I kind of see that you're always working towards the next race, the next competition, the next sponsor, and it's always exciting. It is. I think we've got massive plans. We're going to sit down with the board. We're going to sit down with the, with the big boss, Lord Eskif. We're going to try and take racing here to another level. I think the Derby has made us hungry. We've seen what it's like to see the best dogs in the world running around here on a weekly basis. We want that feeling. There's some open races starting next week. Uh, but they're just a start. We want to kick it on and go to a brand new level. Remember, Toast is the new track. We added a new Category 1 competition this year in the Gold Cup, sponsored by Astute Electronics, which was massive. We've got the TV trophy to look forward to, and we've put in for the English Yorks and the English St. Ledger. If them competitions are in trouble, or any of the big competitions are in trouble in greyhound racing, Toaster will put up the money, and we will bring the best competitions in the land around this track. Mick, great words. Thank you very much for joining us here for a second. As you heard there from Mick Livesey, our operations manager here at Toaster, what a, a lot we've got to look forward to here. So before that, I'm going to have a chat with Johnny, who's celebrating his 30th birthday. Johnny, congratulations. 30 today. Or someone said to me, you're not 30, you're 29 plus one. I'm 29 plus one. <laughs> if anyone says different, they're lying. <laughs> and then next year, the same, 29 plus two? Yeah, it's in brackets. Yeah, you just can't get around this three, can you? No, it's, it's 29 and two in brackets. Yeah, okay, okay, good man. Having fun so far? Uh, what I remember, yeah. yeah. Who, who is here? 
Come on, come on in. 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 Who's this? So she. This your sister. Go, girlfriend. Girlfriend. So she organised everything. And then can we can we look at those idiots up there, please? Okay, back to the idiots here. <laughs> so, are you going to sing happy birthday to your boyfriend? No. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Johnny. Happy birthday to you. Go on, big kiss. Hey. Huh? It's like, it's, like, it's like blind days. <laughs> Guys, listen, enjoy your night. Thanks very much for being a part of it. Have a good one. There we have it, Johnny and Kat. Johnny celebrating his 29 plus one birthday. Uh, but again, the winner of your mini owners bonus series final, Governor Bob, Jim Reynolds. Second race, second winner on the card for Jim Reynolds. He's definitely one to look out for through the card. Yeah, so congratulations to Jim Reynolds and Connections. Nice performance from Governor Bob. The full order was 15643. The distances were one and a half, one and three quarters, four and a half and a shorter. The winning time, 29.05. A race number three is a sprint, everyone over two, 60 metres, D3 to grade. Jaw for 11 minutes past eight. That's next. Johnny, if you're up in the box number four, have a look down. Your name is on the big screen. Happy birthday, Johnny. Happy 30th birthday. For all those who've got messages here tonight, keep an eye out on the big screen because they're all coming this way very, very shortly. But box number four, if you're up there, there's no one on the balcony, but uh, it's on the big screen. Happy birthday to future wife Susan Love Graham. I'm not sure where Graham and Susan are. Are we here? No, not outside, maybe inside, restaurant possibly. Welcome to DPD, who are presenting a prize for us very soon. Uh, next race, actually, race number three. So we'll see the guys then. Race number three, sprinting action over 260. The grade is D3. Trap one is Mulberry Hulk for uh, Jim Reynolds and What the Dickens team. Trap two, CJ's GJ for Dave and Jane Hofton. Trap three is Westmead Jojo for Mr. A. Morton, Nick Sava. Trap four is Lightfoot Joe for Mrs. Kemp, Mr. D. Redmile, Hazel Kemp. Five is Hotbox for the Football Widows and Bernie Warren. And in six is Come On My Lily for Mr. M. Richards, Emma Richards. Those are our six runners for race number three. So plenty of time to get your beds on for this one, everybody. Around about six minutes before we get underway with race number three this evening. And congratulations to Rota's Wildcat 2018 Star Sports Derby Champion Stakes.
Okay, let's look at the betting then, shall we, for race number three, where trap one, Mulberry Hawk, is pitched in at two to one. Trap two is she Shay's DJ, available at six to one. Trap three, Westmead Jojo, seven to two. Trap four, Lightfoot Joe, three to one. Trap five, Hotbox, also three to one. And in six, come on, my Lily, available at four to one. Market leader, trap one, Mulberry Hawk for Jim Reynolds. Jim's had the first two winners tonight. Going to make it a hat trick. He's got the red jacket here. Market leader at two to one. Five minutes to the off. Just four minutes to the off, four minutes to the off the race. Number three, four minutes. Well, our market leader here, truck one, Melbury Hawk for Jim Reynolds. And Jim has won our first two races this evening. First competitive race to run about uh, six weeks for uh, Mulberry Hawk in truck one. Came back with a decent trial of 15 at 96. And uh, has uh, all important red jacket on his back. That's Mulberry Hawk, our market leader, currently two to one. Run us on the approach for race number three. Southern Runners making their way down to the far side of the track here for race number three. The grade is D3. We'd like to wish uh, Emma Richards all the best here with Come On My Lily, who's been off the track since January, finishing lame in the latter part of January. So a very, very good luck to Trap 6 and connections with Come On My Lily, making her first reappearance for a run about five months this evening. Two minutes the off, two minutes the off, race number three. Let's go through the screen there with Shay's DJ. Well, she may be seven to one trap two, or he may be, but she's in cracking form for uh, Dave and Jane Hofton. Shay's DJ after winning twice in lower company D5 and D4. Who knows? Could defy the grader again and go on and win. Big prize, seven to one, trap two. That's our market leader, Mulberry Hawk. It's an interesting one, run. It's Bernie Warren's trap five runner here, hot box. He's been threatening to win a race for some time now. Hasn't won since the back end of April. But suggesting that a uh, win could be just around the for Bernie's uh, hot box in trap five. Tipped up in your program as well. There's six. Come on, my Lily. A first run for five months. Last chance to get your bets on everybody. One minute to the off. One minute to the off. Race number three.
Bit of support for Mulberry Hawks, seven to four. It's then a three to one traps four and five, four to one trap three, five to one six, and seven to one trap two. Okay, everybody, we're loading up. Evie's getting them loaded for race number three. This is going to be over and run about 15 and a half seconds. Trout one, Mulberry Hawk, our market leader at seven to four. Once again, Evie checks them over. Here we go. So the low six on its way to for race number three. The grade is D3. Jim Reynolds one, Mulberry Hawk favorite. Racing, six and one came out together with four, five, two and three, but it's six, come on by Lily and one Mulberry Hawk. Four looking to split the two of them, it's one and four are going together with five. Then come six and two and three at the back, but it's one who leads here with four and five on the one outside. One, four challenging, one and four, one and four flash pass together. That is close, five for third, very tight indeed. Mulberry Hawk and Lightfoot Joe. It's a close one, one and four picture. Very close, everybody. Very tight. There's a replay on the screen, everybody. Still waiting for the stewards' announcement here for race number three. Close. One and four. There's a replay. What do you think on the screen? Did one hold on? Did four get there? Result, race number three is a win for Trap 4, Lightfoot Joe. One second, Mulberry Hawk, five third, hot box. Four got there on the line. We'll show you a photo finish print in just a second, but Force nicked it right on the line. What a cracking race, wasn't it? Mulberry Hall looking for that Jim Reynolds hat trick, but it wasn't quite to be here. Lightfoot Joe was desperately close as they came towards the line. We will show you a photo finish print in just a second. Winning time 1582 for Lightfoot Joe. 1582 a wall. As soon as we get it, show you the photo finish print on the main screen. So our winner and the winners in closure down. What a race for race number three. Lightfoot Joe for Hazel Camp, uh, HB Camp and DA Redmile. Second home, Mulberry Hawk just denied Jim Reynolds a treble on the card uh, in our third race so far, but obviously plenty more to come. And Hotbox was back in third. So this race is dedicated to DPD and we've got a huge following from DPD that we're going to have a chat to now in a couple of minutes but a big round of applause for your winners ladies and gents on the card race number three Lightfoot Joe we're just going to have a chat with uh, where is he ah here he is over here Gareth we just have a chat with Gareth so tell us a bit about DPD uh, we're a parcel delivery company um, probably the best in the business 
I like it, I like it. A plug yeah. in there already. Yeah, we are the best. Okay. And what brings you to Toaster today? Is it a night out? Were you? Yeah, it's a depot night out. We're the best depot in the network, so we're celebrating. And which depot is that? Ruins Depot. Okay. So how many are, are here tonight celebrating? About about 45 of us out of the 100 odd that we've got. So. so there's a good gang? Yeah, it's not a bad gang, yeah. And, and have you been here before? No, never been here before, no. A few of the guys deliver here, but we've never been here on a night out. Okay, and uh, made any money so far? Only only three races gone? I haven't so far, but a few of them have, so it's good. good. Lads, listen, enjoy the night. We'll see you later on, okay? There we have it. Gareth and the gang from DPD. Huh? Uh, I, think, I think he's had a couple of <laughs> Simon, come on, do a dance for us. Simon, do a dance, do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> he was on Love Island, I, I doubt that very much. But anyway, again, guys, I'm going to say it again. Download the app. Be in with a chance to spin our wheel for the Imperial Car Supermarket Big Cash Giveaway. Download the app, click competition, click enter. It's very simple. You'll go into a draw. I'll call the winner out uh, at uh, race number six or race number seven. So um, there we have it anyway. Race number three, the congratulations, Dorota's Wildcat 2018 Star Sports Derby Champion Stakes. Your winner, Lightfoot Joe for Hazel Camp. Yeah, that was a cracking finish, wasn't it? Here's the evidence of the camera, everybody. And it was four by an absolute nostril from one. It's very hard to make out, but four did win that from one. Believe you me, the stewards looked at it for a long time, and Lightfoot Joe just stopped Jim Reynolds in his hat-trick bid for week one. The Super Race, race number three. I've just been pointed out, I forgot to do a big birthday announcement from Miss Emma Marks. Emma, where's Emma? Emma's celebrating her 21st birthday today. Happy 21st, Emma, from all of us here at Toaster. <laughs> She's 32. Oh, sorry, okay, sorry. Someone said you're 30. You only look 21, Emma. You only look 21. Happy birthday.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are five minutes to the off. Five minutes to the off for race at number four. The grade is A7. Five minutes. Gentlemen, here we go for race number four. The grade is A7. Here are the runners in truck one. We have Look to the Moon for Mr. E. Richards. Emma Richards, 27.3. Truck two is Tornaroy Trigger for Mr. Dave Hofton. Jane Hofton, 34.3. Truck three is Savine for Billy B. Syndicate. Jim Reynolds, 28.1. Four is Santa's General for the Bates Boys Syndicate. Steve Rayner, 33.5. Five is Express Tatler. Richard Yates, 34.8, and six is Clon Douglas Road, Quicksilver, Bernie Warren, 24.4. Those are our six runners for race number four, which you're off in just over two minutes' time. So look to the moon then available at four to one. Tonneroy trigger three to one. Savine is then nine to two. Santa's general five to one. Express Tatler four to one. And a rather warm favourite in trap six here for Bernie Warren. Clon Douglas Road at six to four. So market leader Clon Douglas Road. As at once, it's winning a lower company way back on the 28th of April for Bernie Warren. Well drawn on the outsides. Let's record an effort recently of 29.04. Trap six, six to four market leader. There's trap four you're looking at at the moment. Santa's general for Steve Rayner. He's come back off a trial and has only had one competitive race in over two months. So bound to improve here for Steve Rayner. Santa's general could be value at five to one. There's our market leader in six. Long Douglas Road. Daughter of Superior Products. One minute to the off, everybody. One minute to the off for race number four. Nice picture there, a look to the moon with Wendy Richards. It says uh, to come off the back of a couple of uh, re-qualifying trials. Been off the track for about, about two months. Loading in, everybody. We're going in. There's our market leader, Clong Douglas Road in six. Pretty steady at six to four. Loading up.
So Evie waves the flag and we go for race number four. The low six is on its way. The market leader, trap six, clogged Douglas Road. Away we go. One show good early to lead up with four, three, six, two, and five into the first bend. It's look to the moon. Who's that leading with three, four, two, five, six is wide, but it's one who's gone at the moment. Look to the moon. Been off the track for a while though. Can she hold on? He's out in front here with six and four. And then three, five, and two. Is he going to run the penultimate bend? One leading. But here comes the favourite six. Clone Douglas Road putting it down to look to the moon and looking very dangerous off the final bend. And it's six who hits the front. One rallies on the far side. Six is going to get there for one. Four back in third, six, one and four. Trap six, Colin Douglas Road, the winner for Quicksilver and Bernie Warren, second one, look to the moon, third four, Santa's General. What do you time? And if you're back the favourite here, Clon Douglas Road has had to bide uh, her time here. Really, really big run from Look to the Moon here for Emma Richards. I think she'd be delighted with one. Been off the track for around about uh, two months competitively and had a good lead. But uh, the one ground you didn't want chasing you was the six for Bernie Warren. It's been running well without getting her nose in front of late and gets a just reward. Six beat one, four was third. Yes, an impressive performance then of the Play Low Six and the Toaster Ab Stakes. So your winner, Clon Douglas Road for Bernie Warren and Quicksilver. Six to four, your winner. We'll have a chat with Connections in a couple of minutes' time, but looked very, very good on telly. Um, second, Look to the Moon. And third home, Santa's General. Our winner's just coming into the winner's enclosure now. So a big well done to Quicksilver, our winners. Winning owners, winning connections. So we'll just have a quick chat with our winning trainer. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, she's, um, she's been a bit of a nightmare to see, to be honest. Um, so we switched her to wide last week, but she had trouble getting around the five. But she's managed it today, so well happy. So that's where she wants to be. <laughs> okay, and, and obviously, you know, she, was, she was fa went off favourite. Was, was, yeah. was tonight always the plan? Um, well, I think if she got clear, yeah, she should be all right. But, uh, you know, she's... she's Every race she's had lately, she's found trouble. But anyway, she's managed it today, so hopefully she's learning. She's a dog in progress. Yeah, definitely. And, and, you know, you could really see it coming down to the second last bend, really starting to motor on, coming around the outside. Goes wide, so you could say gives up quite a bit of ground, but still has enough ability and enough talent to get there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're hoping that she'll stay a bit longer, so we're, we're, the idea is to step her up soon. So and see if she can get the 686 or 655 if they eventually come back. She definitely looks as if she'd get a bit further, doesn't she? Yeah, she does, yeah, yeah. All her best work is kind of late on. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Right, I'll get back. Good, very well done. Might see you later on. So, uh, again, well done to Connections there. So we've got uh, Gary Mills, who's celebrating his birthday. Very happy birthday, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are they strangers, or do you know them? I've never met them in my life, ever. That's what most people say. That's what most people say. Okay, you gotta, you got to join it. To you. 
Happy birthday, dear Gary. Gary. I'm on TV, I want to do something. Happy birthday to you. Oh, cheers, mate. I'm an accuser, an accuser. <laughs> so who organised tonight? Your lovely wife. Okay, and your wife's name is? Helen. So say, what do you say to Helen? Thank you, Helen. Helen, why toast her? <laughs> have you, no, have you been before? No. Having fun so far? Yes, loving it. It's a great bit of entertainment. Guys, if you didn't hear me earlier on, download the app, click competition, click enter. You've done it. You'll be in with a chance to spin the wheel later on. You buy a thousand pound cash. Wouldn't that be a nice birthday present? That'd be amazing. Yeah, it'd be great. So have you backed any winners? No. No. Oh, second place last race. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. No. You have? Yeah. Well done. Sonic JJ. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. So, guys, you're here. Last race is just about half ten. Where does the party finish after that? Back at my house. Everyone's invited. Everyone's invited. <laughs> 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 we'll send. We'll, we'll, we'll put he knows the. the <laughs> he knows it better than I do. We'll put the address and postcode in the big screen very soon. No worries, mate. No problem at all. Anyone and who wants to come, it's, it's Gary's 40th. Bring the whole place. Bring the whole place. It's okay. It's no problem. Guys, listen. Great night. Enjoy it. Thanks for being involved, okay? Thank you very much. Gary Mills then celebrating his... He says 40th. And I would have said 50th. But anyway, uh, birthday here tonight. But a big well done to uh, our winner. Bernie Warren trained. Quicksilver owned. Clon Douglas Road. Six to four year winner. Uh, very impressive and one definitely to look to look forward to uh, when maybe stepped up and trip. Yeah, nice work for Clon Douglas Road there, winning for Bernie Warren and Quicksilver. The full order six one four five two three distances one and three quarters, a four and a quarter, qu one and a quarter, five and a quarter, and three and three quarters. Uh, race number five is an A6 event, SG off at 8.45, everybody. Uh, those of you who have forgotten or didn't already know, it is Father's Day f uh, tomorrow, and uh, there's a nice uh, little piece in the uh, program next to race number four. Why not join us tomorrow? Arrive at 4.15, lunch served at 4.45. All the details are in your program. Paloma Faith is coming to Toaster. Only love can hurt like this. See Paloma live at Toaster Racecourse on Saturday the 28th of July. I just came in love. Tickets on sale now at ticketmaster.co.uk.
Yeah, definitely a note uh, for your diary then, Paloma Faith, at the end of July the 28th to be exact. It should be a terrific concert. We packed to the rafters here at Toaster. Plenty going on. Make sure you're with us for that. Uh, just a quick reminder as well, you may have just seen on the screens that uh, we are counting down as well to the Imperial Car Supermarket. Big cash giveaway race number eight. Jimmy will have somebody down there with him on race number seven to spin the wheel, but you've got to download the app to get involved, and there's not too much time left either. So good luck if you have downloading the app and have Having a go, £3,000 could be given away after race number eight at 9.36. Well, so football is on the screens as well here at Tosa tonight. Croatia, you've probably seen, have taken the lead. Looked like an own goal as well. But Croatia won Nigeria at nil is the latest score in the World Cup. So just quickly before our next race, I want to do a big birthday announcement to Pam Parker. Pam's a big member of our team here at Toaster. I don't know if she's listening or where she is, but happy birthday, Pam. We'll have a birthday kiss when I see you. Number five, the grade is A6. Here are the runners. Trap one is acting school for Mark Wallace, 26.7. In trap two, Billy's Express for Mr. M. Gregory, Rob Liddington, 32 dead. Three, Jazzy Jazz for Mr. D. Burgess, Mr. S. Harms, Simon Harms, 28.5. Four is Brock's Pandora, Mr. D. Broccoli, Hazel Kemp, 28.7. Five, Dunham Rio for Dave and Jane Hofton, 33.8. And six, Rebel Ghost for Lord Hesketh and Mark Wallace. 31.2. Those are our six runners. The grade is A6. Joff in about three and a half minutes' time. So, actually, score for Mark Wallace available at five to two. On three to one, Billy's Express and Jazzy Jazz. On five to one, Brock's Pandora and Dunham Rio. Market leader in six, Rival Ghost for Mark Wallace at nine to four. Well, Ribble Goal is holding her form well at the moment. So this little bit should be five uh, come September, but she's running well at the moment. As a good winner back in the latter part of May and in a twice in a runs in June, she's finished in second place. Nicely drawn on the outside in six, Ribble Goal. Sure to go well and is our top of the head, nine to four favourite.
So nine to four favourite in six. It's now three to one trap one acting school for Mark Wallace. This greyhound uh, is making his uh, debut round here tonight. And clock 28.91 in a trial. It's only a baby. Another daughter superior product. Well, it's on the approach. On the approach, race at number five. Less than two minutes to the off. Two minutes to the off. About to load up everybody, it's three to one, trap one, three to one, trap two. Billy's Express is my old maker's debut for Rob Liddington, recently joined from Monmore. So good luck to connections of Billy's Express here. It's three to one, seven to two, three, Jazzy Jazz for Simon Harms. Having his first competitive race around here as well since joining from Paul. So good luck to connections of Jazzy Jazz for Brox Pandora, Hazel Kemp, five to one, five to one, and Dunham Rio for Jane Hofton and Mark Wallace's Ribble Ghost. Nine to four favourite. There is Ribble Ghost. Okay, V's wait, getting them loaded, everybody. She's uh, getting them loaded up for race number five. Market leader and six, Rebel Ghost. Three debutants here, one, two, and three, making their official debuts around here at Toaster this evening. So here we go, everybody. Good luck with your bets here. Race number five, the low six is on its way. Trap six, we will go. Market leader. Racing. Six got up well with four, then comes two, three, five, and one. But it's Ribble Ghost who leads Aaron here with Brox Pandora. Two back in third, Billy Express, then one, three, five. Six a little bit wide, so four Brox Pandora down the far side is out leading. Billy Express running well on debut. Then comes six, three, five, and one. But around the penultimate bend is tra trap four, Brox Pandora. Out in front here, Billy's Express. Ribble Ghost is one pace, three trying to stay on Jazzy Jazz. But it's looking good at the moment for four, Brox Pandora. Two's trying hard as they go towards the line, but four held two. Six back in third, four two six. So congratulations to Mr. D. Broccoli and Hazel Kemp. Brox Prandora gets home for the money. Two runs well on debut. Billy's Express. Six was third. A ribble ghost. When it turned 28.67, when you, if you remember that uh, really tight finish, everybody, in race number three, where Lightfoot Joe beats a Mulberry Hawk on the line in a short head, well, this is uh, that Greyhound sister, Brox Pandora. So one to Hazel and Mr. Broccoli and Mr. Redmile. Lightfoot Joe and Brox Pandora, brother and sister, both winning this evening. 4-2-6. Yeah, so a big well done to our winner then of race number five, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday night racing in 2018 here at Toaster. Brooks Pandora for Hazel Kemp, second winner on the card for Hazel so far. Uh, race number five for Mr. D.W. Broccoli. Second, Billy's Express for Robert Lillington. And third home, the Lord Heskett owned Ribble Ghost for Mark Wallace. <clears throat> so
So we can all give the winner a little stroke there, and the handler, and, their, and our trainer if you want. They can give a little pet, a little stroke. <laughs> Big well done to Mr. D.W. Broccoli and Hazel Kemp again, our connections. That was good, double for Hazel. She's not here. Yeah, she'd be delighted with a winner. Where, hey, where is she tonight? Is she racing? Wedding. Okay, so a night off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done. Thank you very much. So we've got uh, the Waitrose from Night's Up. Uh, so we've got, who have we got? We've got Terry and we've got Marion. So Terry... Marion, are you, are you sure? And I don't think that's Marion either, is it? No. <laughs> so I, I, I will start with we'll start with we'll start with Terry. So I believe 45 years at Waitrose. Yes, I've loved every minute of it. <laughs> he says, lying through his teeth. <laughs> he just said to me a minute ago, you, you you can't wait for the alarm clock to go off every morning. Yeah, half past three every morning. Half past three. Yeah. What like? For what? To go have a second sleep or what? I mean, is that what time you get up? Yeah, that's what time I get up. Don't you just love it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you must. <laughs> and is that 45 years at a quarter past three? No, not all the time, no. Just now. Now I'm an old person and I nearly swore that. Uh, they put the old slow ones on the night shift, do they? <laughs> this is it, yeah. They get us up early in the morning so we can get going by lunchtime. <laughs> Brilliant, I love it. And um, there's a group of you here tonight, so is it just... Just a works do, is there any big celebration? Is it your 45 years or? No, that's happened recently, but we're just here for a good night out okay. and hopefully win some money. Good man, good man. Right, I'm going to go to Marion because I had a chat with her earlier and you're, you're the chief organiser, I believe? I certainly am, yep, from the social club at Kingsort, definitely. Uh, so so that it's, it's from the social club and, and all you guys are with Way Chosen? Yep, yep, definitely. Um, I've done 26 years. Anne, how many have you done? 36. 26? 36. Oh, we need Four. Four. <laughs> Two. I, you're only starting, aren't you? <laughs> You've got like all, all his time. I'm, 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 is, 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 he like, is he like the old dad that's there and he's telling you, showing you the ropes and telling you what to do? No. No. <laughs> you probably wouldn't listen to him anyway, would you? No, definitely. No. So you've done two? Yep, many six. 21. 13 ish. Wow, fair play. Must be a good company to work for if you're all there that long. Definitely. Wouldn't work for anybody else. No, definitely not. Sorry? You only go to socialise. I'd say it's a, I'd say it's a right laugh at Waitrose on the, on the aisles, is it? <laughs> huh? Yes, very much. <laughs> good, right. Guys, listen, thanks for getting involved. Uh, obviously, this race is dedicated to Waitrose in Night's Orb. So, um, thank you. Okay, Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. <coughs> Terry, look forward to the alarm clock on Monday, yeah? So, uh, yeah, there's our Waitrose group celebrating the works party. But, uh, yeah, back to our racing anyway. Brox Pandora, 5-1 to one your winner then for Hazel Kemp and uh, Mr. D.W. Broccoli. The winner has been announced, or the person who's in with a chance to spin our wheel for the Imperial Car Supermarket. So I'm looking for Nathan Davis. If Nathan Davis is in the building, please come and see me as soon as you can.
Well, everybody, we're running about eight uh, minutes away from uh, race number six. Always a little bit of a spectacular highlight as well. We've got some of the top hurdlers here at Toaster. And unfortunately, trap one, Dunham Southie, is uh, not going to run here. It's going to be lame. Trap one is lame at the moment, so it won't be running. A five-dog race. Nevertheless, it's a cracky little race coming up here for race at number six. It's over the timber. You can see them jumping all the way around. And you see the uh, hurdles being put out on the track now. Uh, just a reminder as well, that Jimmy is mentioning, as many young uh, patrons as we can as many children down with jimmy after race number six and uh, jim will give you a bit of an interview and you'll be on the screens as well uh, so after race number six we get as many children as we can down with jim at the presentation area after race number six Quick announcement again, guys. If Nathan Davis is in the building, you're in with a chance of spinning our wheel for the Imperial Car Supermarket Big Cash Giveaway. If you're in the house or if anyone knows where you are, please come and see me. You've got five minutes. If not, we'll have to go to the reserves. So Nathan Davis, last call. If you're here, come and see me.
we go for race number six, a hurdle event. H1 is the children's race, everybody. And now trap one is vacant. Dunham South, he found to be lame. Trap one vacant. Trap two, night time so for Mr. D Stoner, head of Dimmock. In trap three, we've got Parker's Dynamite for Mrs. S. Parker, Mark Wallace. Trap four, Swift Dartmoor for Mr. K. Gillam, Mark Wallace. Five is Mediator for the Blues Brothers Syndicate, head of Dimmock. And six, Chantilly Rose for Richard Yates. Richard Yates trains. Five runners, race number six, H1 over the timber, the children's race. Let's look at the betting then, shall we? Well, trap two, nighttime so, seven to two. Parker's Dynamite, six to four, market leader. Four, Swift Dartmoor, five to two. Five, Mediator, five to one. And trap six, Chantilly Rose, available at five to two. Two minutes to the off, everybody, for race number six. It's the children's race, a hurdle event at grade of H1. Well, there in picture is Parker's Dynamite, and to be honest, really, she should have won. Last time out, so we're getting towards the line, and decided she wanted to have a picture taken. And she got caught on the line by uh, Mystical Jude last week in a cracking finish for Mark Wallace. Parker's Dynamite, she's the market leader at 6-4. to four. That's track five, Mediator for Heather Dimmock, who was in that race. Didn't get beaten too far, beating three and a quarter lengths, when a big price at 8-1. to one. Mediator's currently 5-1 to one this evening. Once again, if we can get as many children as we can with their parents to meet Jimmy at the presentation after the race, that'll be excellent. Make his life as awkward as possible. Just about to load everybody. Race number six coming up, H1 the grades. Track three, Parker's Dynamite, six to four. So these, four, these five greyhounds have got four hurdles to jump, everybody. Favourite in trap three, Parker's Dynamite, six to four. Five to two, trap four, Swift Dartmoor. There's only two lengths behind Parker's Dynamite uh, last Saturday for Mark Wallace. Going in, everybody. We're loading up. Going in for tonight's hurdle event, the Grade H1. This is the children's race. We're loading up. <laughs> so Evie waves the flag. The low six is on its way for race number six. We're over the timber, everybody. Here we go. Trap three, our market leader. Away we go, a six banged out, Chantilly Rose to jump the first and jumps its flat, ahead of two, three, four, and then comes five, there's trouble in behind here, and four, Swift Dartmoor getting a super run on the inside of six, then comes two, Knights, I'm so, then the favourite three and five, over the next hurdle, and four jumps well, out in front for six, here comes Parker's Dynamo on the inside, it's a three dog war as they come off the final bend, it's six on the outside of four, three's looking for room on the inner as they go towards the line, four battling back with six on the far side, it's three, and three gets there from six. Parker's Dynamite gets there from six, Chantilly Rose. No stopping for a picture to be taken tonight for Parker's Dynamite. He gets there in good style. Six seconds, Chantilly Rose, and four for third. A really exciting race, wasn't it? Six and four going hammer and tongues down the far side there. Chantilly Rose and Swift Dartmoor. Three's run a blinder here. Parker's Dynamite because he had to work hard as they went over the next. 
Four jumping work, C3 now making its move, but has to check around the third bend behind the four. The one hurdle left to jump here. It was a good race up front, but three biding his time. And he's nicked it on the far side. Three wins, six second. Four was third. Now if we can have as many children to join Jimmy, any age up to the age of 16. Yeah, big well done to our winner then, Parker's Dynamite, the 2018 Grand National winner, uh, Parker's Dynamite for Mark Wallace and Mrs. S. L. Barker. Six to four, ladies and gents, about the Grand National winner here tonight. What a price, what value. Second home, number six, Chantilly Rose. For the children's race on the card, we've got all our kids in here, we're going to have a chat with them. Any children in the house that want to get involved? Come down, parents aren't allowed, it's just kids. So a massive well done to Connections then, Mark Wallace and Miss S.L. Parker. Mrs. S.L. Parker, big congratulations. I don't see any owners, I haven't seen Mark either. But uh, well done if you're watching. Our winner's a little bit temperamental, so we can't actually have a stroke with him. But I'm going to start off here and have a chat with these little kiddies. So we'll start with you. What's your name? Keely. Keely. How old are you, Keely? Seven. Seven. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Skylar. Skylar, where are you from? Northampton. Northampton. First time here? Have you come? No. Come before. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Good. What's your name? Sam. Sam. Sam what? Taylor. Where are you from? Leighton Buzzard. Leighton Buzzard. Leighton Buzzard. Who's that whispering in your ear? <laughs> Who's that? Phoebe. Phoebe. What's your name? Phoebe. Phoebe. Uh, have you guys come together? Uh, yeah. We've come with like a whole football team. Oh, football team. So are we all in a football team? No? No. no. Oh, everyone's sharing. You're the team mascot, are you? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Rohan. Rohan. What position do you play? Uh, I don't know. Wing. Wing. Are you any good? Yeah. Uh, what about you? Um, I play defence. Defence. Are you good? Uh, yeah. Are England going to win the World Cup? No. No. <laughs> I love that confidence. Uh, what's your name? Max. Huh? Max. Okay. Where are you from, Max? Leighton Buzzard. Buzzard. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie, let me guess, you're from Leighton Buzzard. Yay! How old are you? Five. Five. This young lady has been waiting all night to talk to me. All night to talk to me. Hold on, take your time. What's your name? Four. Four. No, what's your name? And how old are you? Four. And are you having a good night? Six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what's your name? Josie. Josie. How old are you, Josie? Eleven. Okay. What's your name? Naomi. Naomi. Where are you from, Naomi? Leighton Buzz. Are you a football team as well? Yeah. So we're all part of the football team? Yeah. What position do you play? I don't play for the team. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're the sisters? Okay, so you're not on the team, you're the supporters? Yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. What's your name? Lowie. Lowie. Where are you from? Rubbrett. Ah, how old are you? 
four. Good. What's your name? Very shy, this man. That's a very smart dicky bow. This is Jack. Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Oh, no. Jack's shy. Jack's shy. Jack's shy. We don't want Jack to cry. What's your name? Lila. Lila, where are you from? Wainborough. Wainborough, okay. What's this young man's name? That is a slick hairdo. Thank you. Manchester United supporter? Yeah. Oh, dear. Why? <laughs> Are England going to win the World Cup? Yeah. Oh my God. Wrong answer, wrong answer. Huh? They're not a national team. England are? Manchester. No, I said, are England going to win the World Cup? No. No, who's going to win? Um, Brazil or Spain. Brazil or Spain? Brazil? Brazil. Brazil? Brazil, Brazil, Brazil? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Brazil. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel, where are you from, Isabel? Banbury. Banbury, oh, okay. And last but not least, what's your name, young man? Sam. Sam. Where are you from, Sam? Leighton Bus. So are you on the football team as well? Yeah. What position do you play? Defence. Are you any good? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get your name. What's it? You keep butting in. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas. Are you any good? Yeah. 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 No, not at all. No, no. Okay. Okay. I'll take your word for it, okay? There we have it, guys. Thank you very much for being involved and all getting on TV. Um... Did I get everyone? I didn't miss anyone, did I? Did I? No, I didn't miss anyone. There we have it, our children's race of the evening. Always race number six on a Saturday night. Always great to get uh, involved in. I can't really speak anymore, to be fair, but um, your winner, Parker's Dynamite, SL Parker, Mark Wallace, 2018 Grand National winner, 6-4, it returned. Yeah, thanks to Jimmy Sterling. Work nice performance from Parker's Dynamite. The winner three six four and five two. The full order distances three quarters twice ahead of one and a quarter. Uh, the winning time was twenty nine eleven. And a really good finish and a nice performance from three Parker's Dynamite. Just do note race number seven, everybody. A three is the grades. Do off at nine nineteen. Trap four will be vacant. Magical Dreamer, she is in season.
go for race number seven. Again, trap four will be vacant, everybody. It's a five-dog event. Uh, trap one is Silver Hill for Mr. M. Davis, Mark Wallace, 33.2. Blue Jacket of Trap 2, Westmead Maxi for Mr. A. Morton, Nick Sabbath, 34.1. Trap 3 is Merlin's Piper, Hazel Kemp, 34.7. Trap 4 is Empty, 5 is Loggy's Tammy, Mr. S. Harms, Mrs. Harms, Simon Harms, 26.4. And 6 is Loggy's Rosie, Mr. Eccles, Simon Harms, 28 dead. Those are our five runners for race number 7. Trap 4 is vacant. Let's check out the market next, shall we, for this A3 event. Well, track one is Silver Hill, seven to four. Track two, Westmead Maxi, six to one. Three, Merlin's Piper, seven to two. Track five, Loggy's Tammy, three to one. And in six, Loggy's Rosie, nine to four. Five runners for race number seven. Two off in two minutes' time. So the runners on the approach end for race number seven here. The market uh, tells us that Trap One Silver Hill is the favourite here for Mark Wallace. Recently took a tumble in the middle of May, about a month ago. So had to have a retrial. Came back with 24.49. That was at Romford. Binny Ball Sports Duke. 15.28 in the sprint. Can't be sniffed at either. Trap One Silver Hill. Good early pace. 7 to 4 market leader. The grade is A3. It's about to go behind. Great opportunity to get some terrific photographs as well with that beautiful sunset in the distance, everybody. Won't last for long, but uh, absolute uh, picture postcard at the moment. That sun setting in the distance. That's trap six, Loggies Rosie, Simon Harms, who just recently joined uh, Toaster. A little bit unfortunate for this one, first time up, when six to four favourite, bless her, last week, because uh, she totally went down on her nose at the boxes six, and hopefully we're going to see a lot better from her this evening. She was well fancied last week on debut. She's well drawn in six. She should have a big chance. Loading up everybody, going in, race number seven, we're loading at grade A3. <laughs> Once again, Evie waves the flag, the low six is on its way for race number seven, and the market leaders are one and six here, A3 to grade. Away we go, two got up well with one, three, six and five into the first bend. And it's one Silver Hill shows that good early to lead up with three, two, five and six, five and six come together as a good on the far side. It's Silver Hill adding extending the lead on three. And then comes five, two, six. But at the moment, Mark Wallace's Silver Hill's looking good. Three Merlin's Piper in second, five back in third, but they come off the final bend. Can one Silver Hill hold on? Doing well at the moment with three, trying hard in second, five back in third, one is stopping, three's coming late doors, but holds on. One beat three. Five third, one three five. Excellent performance from uh, Silver Hill there for Mr. Davis and Mark Wallace. Took a nasty tumble about a month ago, but uh, Aol is A OK with his Greyhound superb early pace. Woody time, 28 46, 28 46. Well, the two Harms runners have a coming together into the first bend, but it was one Silver Hill who really showed terrific early pace into that corner. And went on to win very nicely indeed. Three's tried hard in second, Merlin's Piper for Hazel Kemp, five back in third. But a really nice performance from Silver Hill winning race number seven. Well, race number eight is the Imperial, Imperial Car Supermarket Big Cash giveaway, and hopefully Jimmy's found somebody to have a chance to spin the wheel.
So another winner on the card then for Mark Wallace. Silver Hill, seven to four year winner for the Watch All Trial Races on the Toaster Race Course App Stakes here at Toaster. Seven to four year winner for Mr. D. Davis, Mark Wallace. Second, Merlin's Piper for Hazel Kemp. And third, Loggie's Tammy for Simon Arms. So big well done to Winning Connections there. I, as I said, I haven't seen Mark tonight, but if he's here or if he's watching uh, and Connections, Mr. M. Davis, very well done. This dog's getting a lot of attention. So we've got uh, this, uh, this race is dedicated to Charlie Watson, or sorry, the Charlie Walton dash, so Charlie Walton. I've got Charlie here, mum, dad, horrible brother. <laughs> so who will I go to first? Charlie. Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. You look a bit, you look a, bit <laughs> a little bit wobbly? Maybe. <laughs> How old are you today? Because it doesn't actually say in the cards. 18. 18. To first official drink today? Maybe. Official, <laughs> official. Work, work with me, Charlie. Work with yeah. me. I said official. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And how are you enjoying it? Uh, it's good. Oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Just won money for the first time. Have you went to, in this race? Yeah. Oh, happy days. Yeah. So you've you've had a few bets but won nothing. Yep. A lot of money gone. So we saw Mum Ruth earlier on, who obviously organised the the event. Am I right? Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. Ah, so he didn't know anything about us. No. Nope. So I've got some questions to answer tomorrow when he wants to know how I managed to contact all his friends. <laughs> Facebook nowadays, it's a killer, isn't it? Huh? Never add your mum on Facebook, Charlie. Huh? She'll get deleted now when you go home, won't she? Yeah. <laughs> deleted, blocked, removed forever. Absolutely, yeah. But listen, it worked for the party. It definitely did. You should have seen the look on his face when all his friends turned up. <laughs> <laughs> and Dad, did you have anything to do with it? Uh, very little, other than just turning up. So, yeah, uh, usual stuff for me. But yeah, it was arranged by Ruth, and I'm pleased to say a lot of his friends are here, and a lot of his friends are doing A-levels, so they can't come. Oh. So they're right in the middle of revision and studying, and one of his best friends is working today as well, so that's just one of those things. But it's, I think it was a bit of a shock, and very nice for him too. Good. And a uh, horrible brother? Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get him for his birthday? Uh, I got him a headset for the PS4. Oh, you can't be that bad, can you? Nah, I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm a good guy, I'm a good guy. A nice brother? Yeah! What did you, what did you get him? Well, uh, well, I didn't have enough time to buy him anything, so, uh, he's just got a nice little card. <laughs> so the nice brother, the nice brother gets him nothing, and the horrible brother gets him a headset. Yeah. How does this work? I'm give him. I'm gonna give him a pound. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That'll make up for it. That'll make up for it. So, who all else have we got here? Just all friends. friends. Yes, from school. Uh, uncle at the end. Okay, okay, okay. So, are you gonna sing happy birthday to him? I think so. Yeah. yeah? Yes. Who's gonna start? Yes. Go on. Okay, you ready? Right, Andre. Come on. Are we ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Charlie. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Well done, guys. Thank you very much for being involved. Enjoy the rest of the celebrations. And uh, enjoy all the deletion on Facebook when you get home. <laughs> so there we have it then, winner of race number seven, the Watch All Trials and Races on the Toaster Race Course Abstakes. Your winner, Silver Hill, 7-4, Mr. M. Davis and Mark Wallace.
shot was in too dark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, I'll go on. I need to see the next two, bro. Get your okay. yeah. Ask that person. Okay. You need, they're going to come back to Okay, you ready? So we're just taking a few photos here for our Imperial Car Supermarket. Big cash giveaway. A thousand pound I've got in my hands here. Nathan, a thousand pound could be yours in this next race. We've given away fortunes here at Toaster over the last six months. What would you do with a thousand pound if you won it? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to run around the track, but um, I've got to be sensible, so I need to buy a house. I'll put it towards savings for a house. Okay, I, th I thought you were going to say that was going to buy a house. No, I'd, no, li no, no. <laughs> I'd like <laughs> to see what side of a house it would buy. <laughs> Maybe a shed. Maybe a shed. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Is everyone tuned in? We're going to spin the wheel. Whatever number it lands on is yours in the next race. If that wins, a thousand pound is yours. Okay? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Spin that wheel. Oh my God. What strong arms you have, Nathan. <laughs> we could be here for a while. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Number two, number two. Oh, you want it number one. Are you happy with that? I'll have to take it, but it's Chelsea colors. I'm not really too happy with that, but I'm an Arsenal fan, so number one would have been my one, but. So number two, we're number two, so fingers crossed, number two. Number two, fingers crossed. Right. Well, you're going to watch the race with us now in a few minutes' time, right? So don't go away. We'll get you back in. we get all the live action. Just, if it wins, we want to see the reaction. I'm sprinting around the track, so you lot, <laughs> security better be on their toes. <laughs> Grand. Okay, so Nathan's got trap two in the next race. Big cash giveaway, Imperial Tar Car Supermarket race. As I said, we've given away thousands here over the last six months here at Toaster, and tonight could be another grand going Nathan's way. Everybody racing about your D1 Sprint, the Imperial Car Supermarket, big cash giveaway. Let's meet the runners, shall we? Stunning off with Trap 1, Forest Mike for the Exodus Syndicate, Kev Hart in 32.7. Trap 2, Slow Down Sally for Mr. Fowler, Mr. Mann, Mrs. Marshall and Nathan. Mark Wallace, 29.7. 
Trap three is Cotton Pants for Mr. A Head and Mr. T O'Donnell. Mark Wallace, 33.5. Four is Optimus Prime for Mr. R Cross, Mr. B Gill, Richard Yates, 29.2. Five is Forrest Lana, Norbert Syndicate, Kev Hutton, 28.6. And six Xavier for Jim Reynolds, 31.7. Those are our six runners for this top graded D1 event. Runners on the approach. Let's go to the card, shall we? Forrest Mike, 9 to 2. Nathan's runner, big chance here. Slow down Sally, 9 to 4. Trap 3, Cotton Pants, 7 to 4. 4, Optimus Prime, 10 to 1 outsider. 5, Forrest Lana, 2 to 1. And Xavier in 6, 5 to 1. Market leader, just Trap 3, Cotton Pants for Mark Wallace at 7 to 4. Three minutes to the off, three minutes to the off race. Number 8, this is the Imperial Car Supermarket. Big cash giveaway. Well, joint market leaders now. Cotton Pants in trap three. He hasn't had a little luck of late uh, for Mark Wallace. Open racing back to uh, graded fair. Though. Hasn't run in a graded event for some while. Way back in January. We're winning in 15.45. He's getting back to fitness slowly. Cotton Pants is currently two to one. Trap five, Forrest Lana for Kev Hutton in good form as well. Has won two of his last three races. And this little bitch absolutely flying at the moment. Going to take a lot of beating. She won in D1 company last time out. She's currently two to one. Two minutes to the off, two minutes to the off. Slow down Sally in the blue jacket. Good luck to Nathan. This is Mark Wallace's runner. One in D1 company, three races back, and is in good form. Better drawn in two than he has been in three of late. Slow down, Sally. Currently nine to four. Nine to four, trap two. Runners at the boxes, at the boxes for race number eight. Calling 9 to 4, trap 5, Forest Lana. Market leader, trap 3, up Cotton Pants at 2 to 1. Just about to load up for tonight's uh, big cash giveaway. D1 the great. Last chance to get your bets on, everybody. Last chance to get your bets on. Sprinting action, 260 metres. Going in. They are going in, everybody. Racing the bait, loading up. Very tight at the top of the market. Three and five, both two to one, nine to four, trap two, slow down Sally, loading up. Evie waves the flag, good luck. Low six, on its way, good luck to Nathan, good luck everybody, here we go. Racing, six got up, but so did two, three, four, five, and one into the first bend. It's slow down Sally in front here with Optimus Pants in second. It comes one back in third. It's two, slow down Sally and Cotton Pants. Cotton Pants and slow down Sally. Cotton Pants goes on for the money. Cotton Pants wins it. Tight for the minor places. Two, one, and six. Trap three, Cotton Pants the winner for Mark Wallace. Tight for the minors. Cotton Pants wins for Mr. Head and Mr. O'Donnell. Mark Wallace tight for the minor places, 2 6 1. Unlucky to Nathan, getting a great run. Great run from two. Jimmy, he was unlucky, Nathan. He had a great run, but Cotton Pants didn't do him any favours. Sorry, it's not yours tonight, Nathan. I'm going to have to take this home instead of you. But I mean, it could have been. It was so close. How do you feel? I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I wanted that shed.
I really wanted that shed. You want? <laughs> he wanted that shed. He wanted the house. Thanks for being a good sport. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank right? you very much. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you, mate. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, look, he's coming home with me. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Three, two, one. The result, everybody, has just been confirmed. Three, two, one. Cotton Pants to win a slowdown. Sally second. Forrest Mike back in third. Three, two, one. Here's a replay. Well, Nathan got a good run for his money, but uh, three Cotton Pants. It was the kennel mates of the two dog coming to do in close home. First time in graded company since January, and he ran a blinder. Three, two, one. Result, race number eight. I think it was third. Oh, how disappointing for poor Nathan. Just got no... Well, he didn't. He was well beaten, to be fair. But uh, anyway, our winner, Cotton Pants, 2-1. to one. Mark Wallace, third winner on the night there for Mark. So a great performance if he's watching for Mr. A. Head and Mr. T. O'Donnell. The Imperial Car Supermarket, big cash giveaway every Saturday night. All you got to do is download the app and you can be in with a chance of winning £1,000. All smiles here. Very well done to Connections. Uh, so we've got we've got two random women here. I don't really know who they are. Happy birthday! Thank you very much. It's today, isn't it? Today. Yeah. Your your better half came over and said to me, Jimmy, is there any chance you could say happy birthday to her? And I said, Well, I don't know. Does she deserve it? And he said, You do. I do. Being married all them years to him, I do. How many years are you married? 36 or something. Oh my God, that's like, that's like two life sentences, isn't it? It is, it is yeah. He's good though. Breakfast in bed and all sorts. Does he? Yeah. Oh yeah. Check you out, Dave. Oh, oh. <laughs> Breakfast in bed, eh? I like it. Um, you're not married 36 years, are you? Definitely not, Jimmy, no. <laughs> when was your birthday? Last Thursday. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So you're both going to sing happy birthday to each other? Okay. Yeah? yeah? Come on, Pam. Dave said it's like listening to someone strangling a bag of cats. But anyway, we won't worry about that. <laughs> right, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Charlotte, happy birthday to you. Hey, Pam and Charlotte, ladies and gents, two members of our team here at Toaster celebrating their birthdays. Everyone gets a chance to celebrate a birthday here. Ladies, Happy birthday, have a great evening, and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank we you. Will. Thank you. So there we have it. Uh, Pam and Charlotte celebrating their birthdays. Nathan, unfortunately, didn't, didn't win the money in our big cash giveaway, but he was there with a chance. He was leading for quite a while. It just didn't go his way, but great night on the card for Mark Wallace. Third winner there with Cotton Pants for Mr. A. Head and T. O'Donnell. So great night for those guys. Um, three more races to go. A few more celebrations, a few good races to come. VIP box course meal from £48 stakes is next up. And, uh, yeah, I need to drink. <laughs> There's a replay, and you can see uh, the trap three then to poor old Nathan uh, giving it plenty, but it wasn't quite to be, was it, for Nathan, who slowed down Sally, but nevertheless ran well. Three, though, got over for the money. Cotton Pants, first time in a graded company for some time, and wins nicely. It was 3 2 1, 6 5 4. Just says one and a quarter, short head twice, one and four and a half. Do note, race number nine, trap six, will be vacant. Boyle Sports Duke does not go.
Just a quick reminder, everybody, we do race tomorrow evening as well from 6.11 tomorrow evening up until around about 20 past nine. 17th of June, of course, is Father's Day, so why not pop along to a toaster tomorrow? Enjoy the racing with us. All the details of what you can expect just on the inside of race number four in your programme. It's Father's Day tomorrow, everybody, and why not spoil the old man? That's tomorrow evening from 6.11. It's not just greyhound racing you have here to look forward to at Toaster, ladies and gents. Look at that sunset. Take a look and take it all in. Isn't it absolutely fantastic? <laughs> While I'm on here, I just want to say a big happy birthday to, to Suzanne, who's in the restaurant. I don't know if Suzanne, if you're there, there's Suzanne. Big happy birthday to Suzanne. Getting married soon, I hear. All the, all, the be all the best from everyone here at Toaster, Suzanne. I hope you're having a great night. 
So there we have it, Suzanne celebrating her birthday and getting married soon. So all the best here from Toaster. Number nine, so over 500 metres, the Derby trip. B1 is the grade, two are the runners. Trot one is Honest Robber for Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor, Mr. P. Taylor, Mr. Woodward, Mark Wallace, 32.8. Trap two is Ninja Fortune for Mr. T. Coveney, Mark Wallace, 34.3. Three is the Snooty Fox, MMB Syndicate, Kev Hutton, 34.3. Trap four is Far Bank Frank, Mr. Burton, Mr. M. Burton, Kev Hutton, 35.4. And five is Master Kelly, the Bodell Boys, Hazel Kemp, 33.4. Trap six is vacant. Check the market, shall we? Well, trot one on this robber, six to one. Trap two, Ninja Fortune. Market leader, six to four for Mark Wallace. Snooty Fox in three, two to one. Trap four, Far Bank Frank, seven to two. And five, Master Kelly for Hazel Kemp, four to one. Trap six is empty. Trap two and Ninja Fortune. This is over the 500 meter trip. The boxes are from the chute off the uh, final bend on the left hand side. This is the Derby trip. Ninja Fortune for Mark Wallace, our market leader. That's a one since April winning an open race action over this 500 meter trip. It's been a little bit unlucky. Run well last week in open race action, won 11 to 8 uh, favourites on Derby night. Well, it's on the approach. There is Honest Robert. A snooty Fox going through. Here's uh, Far Bank Frank who ran ever so well last week for Kev Hutton. And bringing up the rear is Hazel Kemp's Master Kelly. There is Master Kelly. Definitely should be suited by this 500. I think 500 definitely suits him better than 480. Got this real good kick off the final bend, Master Kelly. If he can stay up with the early pace, he's a Kemp's runner. Who knows? Four to one could be a big price in the orange jacket. So down the card, six to one, trot one, six to four, favourite two, Ninja Fortune, two to one, three, Snooty Fox, seven to two, four, four to one, five. Last chance to get your bets on everybody. Race number nine. There's Far Bank Frank sporting the new Australian jackets that uh, the Greyhounds are wearing this evening. There's Master Kelly. He should relish his extra 20 metres here this evening. There's our market leader, Ninja Fortune, in two. And this is Honest Robber in one. Okay, everybody, we're loading up, going in for race number nine. They're loading up. Good luck with your bets. Six to four, the field. So Evie waves the flag, the low six is on its way down race number nine. This is the Derby Trevor 500, Trap 2's market leader, Ninja Fortune. Racing, 
Well, Ninja Fortune got up with Master Kelly and four. Far bank Frank. Then comes three and one, but into the first bend. It's Ninja Fortune gets on the inside of four. Then comes three. Five is wide and one is struggling on its rubber. But down the far side, it's Ninja Fortune starting to stretch them here from Snooty Fox. Then comes Far bank Frank and Master Kelly, but it's looking good for the supporters of the market leader. Well clear here, Ninja Fortune. Three in second, five back in third, but they come off the final bend. Classy performance from two, putting this lot to the sword. Ninja Fortune, too good. Five runs on for second. Three third, two five three. Yeah, excellent run for Ninja Fortune there for Mr. Coveney and Mark Wallace. Winning time, very smart indeed. Twenty nine thirteen, two nine one three. Very quick indeed. Twenty nine thirteen. It's a good run to the corner, two got the inside of Frank. Four, five Master Kelly's run well here. Just got done for a little bit of early pace and moved wide. As so it went down the far side here, Manidja Fortune really putting some uh, middle gears into this third bend and pulling her way to win smartly. Good run here for Master Kelly for Hazel Kemp. Three back in third, but no doubting the winner. Mark Wallace's runner back to winning form, Ninja Fortune. A winner then coming back into the winner's enclosure now for the VIP box four-course meal from 48-pound steaks. Ninja Fortune for Mark Wallace and Mr. TJ Coveney. 29.13 the time, I'm just seeing. 29.13 time, so great time uh, there tonight. Obviously, 28.72, our track record. So great time there. I'm just going to have a quick chat with Connections because I know Mark's not here. And he's had a load of winners already. Whereabouts is he tonight? He's here. He's oh, he's here. He's, oh, he's upstairs. He's in the paddock getting dogs ready, isn't it? Okay, so he's, he's doing the hard graft. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, you've had a great night, but that was that, this is a good dog. Yeah, he's a good dog, yeah. He was uh, a bit unlucky in a derby. You know, and, uh, yeah, he's a nice dog. Good man. We'll just get a quick photo if we can. So that's our race number. So that's our winner then. Ninja Fortune, six to four, your favourite. Mark Wallace, TJ Coveney, 29.13. <clears throat> Good time. So we're here now with our bookmakers, we're in the ring, we're going to see what the action is like. Barry, what's it like tonight? Is it good, bad? There seems to be a few people around. It's in between, it's not too bad, you know, some money about, some small bets, yeah, it's, it's very good, it's not bad at all. The results are 50-50, it's half each. Yeah. Half for the punters, half for us. That was quite a big price, really, 6-4 to four for, for our, our previous winner there from Mark Wallace. Good, good dog, and 29-13 at the time, so obviously ran in the derby, so... Plenty of ability. Yeah, there was a lot of money for the other one in the race, Snooty Fox. I think that's what held the price up for the 6-4 to chance. Yeah, yeah. But it, so it was a good result for us, to be fair with you. The, the other one was the worst result. Good. Well done. Well done. <coughs> right, we're going to go down and just see how BG's getting on. He's just giving out some money or taking money. I'm not sure which. We'll wait a second. We're right in the thick of the action here in our betting ring. Pound for the holiday. <laughs> oh. 
he's still collecting. Plenty of people around, it's getting late, it's a bit cold, but there's still plenty of people here. They're busy away. We'll probably probably should leave them to it really and get back to it, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to it. Race number ten coming very quickly.
Chat two, Kilrea, Mike for Mr. Coffney, Mr. Dodds, Mr. Kellaway, Mr. Trotter, Mark Wallace, 33.3. Three is Cougar Clum for Lo Royal uh, Toasters, uh, Bernie Warren, 28.1. Four is Lug Hill Teddy for Mr. B. Turvey, Jim Reynolds, 32.8. Five, Union Pride for Union in Plimpton, Mark Wallace, 28.2. And six, Durbrook Sunset for Mr. A. Winton, Kev Hutton, 28.6. Those are all runners. It's six bends this time, everybody. Top grade S1 over 686 metres. So have a look at the market, shall we? Well, final Honda over Steve Rayner is warm, six to four. Kiltrio Mike, five to two. Cougar Clum, four to one. Luckhill Teddy, eight to one. Union Pride, five to two. And Drawback Sunset, eight to one. That's the market for race uh, number 10. Well, final Honda, our market leader here for Steve Rayner, been in really good form in this company of S1 recently, won two of his last five races, nicely pitched in a red jacket as well. And it's available at 6-4, to 6-4, to four, track one, final Honda. Runners on the approach to the far side, two and a half minutes to the off, two and a half minutes on, five to two, we've got Kiltria Mike for Mark Wallace. Again, it's been in good form, did win back on the 1st of June as a decent prize, six to one, that's clock 41.81 in defeat, last time out in good form, that's trap two, Kiltria Mike and tipped up in your programme. Also on 5-2, to two, Mark Wallace's Union Pride in trap 5 here. Been running well without actually getting her nose in front of late. This little bit, she could be a due in the season as well very shortly. She's running well, could be a big player tonight, Union Pride. Deserves to get her nose in front. She's currently 5-2, to two, second in the market. One and a half minutes to the off, one and a half minutes to the off. Trap three, Cougar Club available at four to one here for Bernie Warren. That's a good winner in S2 company recently. It's been running well in S1. I'll have to step up a little bit on her best, but so nevertheless, not without a squeak here, the bitch in three, Cougar Club. The Greyhounds reach the starting traps. One minute to the off, everybody. One minute to the off. That's trap six. Draw back at sunset. It's running well for Kev Hutton at the moment. Lily really needs to show her best form over this trip and lead early doors. So if you're on six, you wanted to smash out and try and lead all the way. And finally, if you're looking for a bit of excitement, well, your ground you want to back is Lughill Teddy here. The four-year-old running out of his skin at the moment for Jim Reynolds. He'll be last on the first couple of bends, Lughill Teddy. Well, watch him go down that far side. Any trouble, he'll be picking him up big time. Trap four, Lughill Teddy, big price, eight to one. Loading up, everybody, loading for race number 10. We're going in. So Evie waves the flag. Here we go, everybody. Good luck with your bets here. The early pace may come from one and six. Here comes the hair. Away we go with six. Banged out to lead up with three and one. Then five, two and four is usually a mile back. But they come off the second bend here and draw a big sunset. Where she needs to be out leading with three, one. Then five, two and four a long way at the back. And they've got a circuit to go though. And six bowling along in front. Here comes three, Cougar Club. Then one. Five, two, Katria, Mike, and four yet to pick up, but a long way to go as they get on the far side. And it's one, final Hondo now on the inside of six. Then comes three and five with two. No sign at the moment of Lughill Teddy as they go on the penultimate bend. It's still one, final Hondo.
Waldo in front, Union Pride in second, here comes two cool Tria Mike picking up, Lucky Hill Teddy's finishing but he's got too much to do as they go towards the line here, final Honda all out, five to get there, is he one, holds on from five, two third, final Hondo gets there for Steve Rayner, Union Pride and Tria Mike. So excellent performance and final Honda. Well done to Mr. Bate, Mr. Gregorium, Steve Rayner. Really grinding it out in good style here. 1 5 2, the result confirmed. Union Pride and Kiltria Mike, 1 5 and 2. Got on the inside of three. Cougar Club down that far side and really grinds it out here for Steve Rayner down that far side. This is now the third time this Greyhound's won in the grade in his last six races. Just keeps on pulling and pulling. Big run from five, Union Pride. You've got to feel for Mark Wallace's uh, little bit. She's running out of her skin, but she finds one too good virtually every week. But she's running out of the cracker. And Katria Mike running well again for Mark Wallace. Back in third. One, five, two in race number 10. Yeah, so it was tight in the end there for the Celebrate Your Birthday Toaster races, but final Hondo, 7-4 for Stephen Rayner, Miss SJ Bates, MM Gregory and SJ Rayner. So big well done to Connections. We'll have a chat with Connections in a few minutes' time. Second home was number five, Union Pride for Mark Wallace. Denying Mark a five-timer in the last um, five races. He's won the last four. And uh, third home, number two, Kiltray Mike. Again for Mark Wallace. So great night in the card for Mark. We all smiling. Just a, a quick, tra hey trainer, that was good. Yeah. Huh? You happy? Yeah. Did you think he was going to win? Yes, I thought he could win today. So. So did did you do you tell him it was you thought it was going to win? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she let you know, did she? Yeah. Did she tell you the odd type? Yeah, yeah. It was a good performance. Yeah, he's running well with stock now, yeah. He's just over two years old and stepping him up in six bends, he's done really well, so yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes, a, some of them take a bit, a little bit longer and, and, you know, some of them are quicker, but it's just when they, sometimes when the penny drops then they, and they know what they're doing, it makes a big difference. Yeah, he ran really green over four bends, but over six bends he's got more time to sort himself out, but he, yeah, he's really running well now. So. The others were getting there, but they were never getting there, if you like. No, he, he just stays strong, this dog, yeah, yeah. Good, well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Good. Well, we're just going to have a chat with, we've got um, Connor celebrating his birthday today. <laughs> He's got all his friends here. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've lost every single race this race tonight. So. Oh, dear. It's, it's, it's not been a great night, to be honest, but I'm sure these have enjoyed it. Okay. We start off on the nice depressing note, Connor. Thanks. I oh, know. It's, 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 it's not been the best, but it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. So, uh, yeah. So who's with you? Uh, 
Shannon, everyone. Like everyone. Shannon's with you, like, I mean, elaborate. Uh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Girlfriend for the now, and then, um, and then when Natalie comes. She's, she's standing, is she? Standing. Te temporary, temporary, temporary. <laughs> oh, it's like something you see on Love Island. Um, who else is here? Who else is here? All friends. Uh, all friends. First, first time here tonight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So in China, have have you won any money? No, I haven't. Has anyone won money? I have fifty we pounds. Did you? Yeah. Where did yeah. you? Twenty-four pounds. That's how we won. Oh, so you two. Are, yeah. So oh, okay. So you won money. I like the way it was joint twenty-five pounds. Yeah. It's my money. Your money, but she keeps it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Get used to that. Yeah, no, Get no, no. That. <laughs> that, that'll that happen a lot more. So you're going to sing happy birthday? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Who's going to start? Yeah, okay, we're all... But come on. Huddle in. Huddle in. Come on. Get me in the middle. Well, are you ready? Okay, who's going to start? You going to start? Who's going to start? Okay, you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys. To you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Corona. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Connor, have a great birthday. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And enjoy your first date with Shannon. <laughs> uh, so there you have it. Celebrate your birthday here at Toaster Race Course. What a way to celebrate tonight for Connor celebrating his 23rd birthday. But your winner, final Hondu, SJ Blay, uh, Bate, uh, Mr. M. Gregory and SJ Rayner, Stephen Rayner trained, seven to four year winner. One more race still left to come. Yeah, smart performance to track one final Honda, then too good for them in the S1 event for all the one five two three four six distances three quarters short head four three quarters one and three quarters winning time forty one eighty four race number eleven to finish off with is a ten twenty seven the grade is a two they all go for that one just to remind you it is Father's Day tomorrow so why not pop along here to Toaster first race at six eleven tomorrow evening arrival at four fifteen lunch will be served at four forty five check it out in your program next to race number four.
place of the evening, race 11, the grade is A2. In track one, we have Dinner Southgate for the TDC Global Investors. Jim Reynolds, 35.1. Trap two is Sidarian Dino, Sidarian Syndicate, Mark Wallace, 36.1. Trap three is Glenor Diego for Norfolk Knights, Kev Hutton, 31.9. Four is Forrest Messi for Mr. G. Phillips, Mrs. K. Phillips, Kev Hutton, 27.4. Five is Plan Ahead, Mr. M. Lloyd, Mark Wallace, 33.3. And six is Morning Live Len, Morning Live Syndicate, Kev Hutton, 33.9. Those are our six runners for our finale. Race 11, the grade is A2. So down the car then, trap one, Dinner Southgate, 11 to 4. Trap two, Sidarian Dino, 6 to 1. Three, Glenelor Diego, 3 to 1. Four, Forrest Messi, 5 to 1. Market leader, 5. Plan ahead for Mark Wallace, 2 to 1. And six, Morning Live Len, 7 to 2. Two minutes to the offer, race 11, our final race of the night. Well, Mark Wallace's plan ahead, tipped off in your uh, programme tonight. It has been busy, especially at Romford in open race action. But well, it's been running well without getting his just rewards. Went down by length behind Far Bank Frank, who ran a little bit earlier on in our 500 metre B1 event. Mark Wallace's market leader, five, plan ahead. It's currently two to one favourite. Runners on the approach. That's trap six, morning live Len for Kev Hutton. In really good form as well, this little greyhound. He just turned two this month, and he's won three of his last four races. This is a big ask for him tonight, though, but he's running well at the moment, improving. He's got an electric early pace. That's trap six, morning live Len. Last chance to get your bets on everybody. Last race of the evening. Just to remind you, it's Father's Day tomorrow, so look forward to seeing you all run about quarter past four for tomorrow evening. Meeting getting underway at 6.11. Should be a cracking night uh, evening of entertainment. That's Father's Day tomorrow here at Toaster. That's Forrest Messi in trap four for Kev Hutton. Another ground is in good form. Another one a little bit like Morning Live Len. Kev Hutton's other runner. In trap six, he's improving all the time. So a cracking little race to finish off with. Jim Reynolds has got dinner Southgate in trap one here. Recently pops up from Hove, put in a couple of decent trials as well. 28.35 for Jim in a trial just the other day. And ideally drawn in one. Loading up for our last race of the evening. Race 11 going in. Trap five favourite, plan ahead, seven to four. So for the final time tonight, Evie waves the flag, here we go. And once again, the low six is on its way for race 11. Trap five, plan ahead or market leader. Where we go, three show good early, Glenor, Diego with four, five, one, six and two, missed it, into the first bend, Diego leads up here, Messi's in second with one, Dinner Southgate, here comes five, one's gone lame I'm afraid, it's good on the far side and it's three, Glenor, Diego who leads up here and second, you've got Forrest Messi, back in third, five, then six and two as they come off the final bend here, and Glenor, Diego holding on for Kev Hutton, four in second, five back in third, he's grinding it out in front, he's not going to get caught, three's going to win for five, four third, three, five, four. Winning time, 28-48, 28-48. Glendor Diego for the Norfolk Knights and Kev Hutton, the winner. Second five, plan ahead, four back in third, three, five, and four. Well, trap three really cracked out the boxes, didn't it? Went into the first bend. I'm afraid Dinner Southgate went lame into the first bend here for Jim Reynolds. So fingers crossed for Dinner Southgate and connections. Three, Glendor Diego out in front. 
and holding on well here. Plan ahead in second, four back in third, three, five, and four, and our last race of the evening. Yes, so your winner then of the Buy the Fab Four 10 pound package stakes. Number three, Glenor Diego for Kevin Hutton and the Norfolk Knights. Second home, number five, Plan Ahead for Mark Wallace. And third home, Forrest Messi, five to one for Kevin Hutton. Hey up, we'll just get away from the camera. Right, we all smiling for the camera, gents. Big smiles, leaders of the pack. Well done, that was good. I didn't watch the race. I know, oh, uh, it was, it was. Just, just work with me, work with me. It was brilliant. Yeah. Well done. Fantastic run. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Norfolk Knights, Kevin Hutton. Very well done to Connections. This man, has fallen in love again. <laughs> it's it's funny it's funny that he's celebrating his stag do tonight. That's that's not a good omen for your wife to be. <laughs> that's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> I hope she's not watching. You can trust the dog, but you can't trust the woman. No, it is true. That is true. Man's best friend, right there. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't ever ask me a credit card. <laughs> yeah, but your wife doesn't ask either. She just takes it. She does. That is correct. Yes. That's the three and a half inches she likes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a funny guy, this one, eh? Yeah, he's a funny he is. Guy. <laughs> so, lads, stag do tonight upstairs yeah. in the restaurant. Having, yeah. having, having fun? Very much fun, yeah. yeah. Great. Brilliant. Back to any winners? The first one, <laughs> I won. That was it. But it was by pure luck. The lady on, a, on the tote made a mistake. <laughs> so she said, do you want to keep it or do you want your money back? I said, let's keep it. And it won. So that was Happy it. days. So yeah. you should have really yeah. stopped yeah. then, shouldn't you? I should, but we've had a few winners between us, actually. We've done quite well. So when's the big day? Uh, five weeks today. Uh, and and where, where are you getting married? Uh, Sedgebrook Hall, Northampton. Oh, lovely. And, and is that where you're all from, Northampton, lads? Yeah. We are, or we've got a derby. We've got a northerner oh. <laughs> amongst us. Oh. <laughs> So, well, I think we have to have a chat with him. We've got, we've got a northerner, huh? Yeah, father of the bride. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Keep him in, make sure he's behaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to keep him in tune, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say he's a bit of a wild one. Oh, just a bit, yeah. yeah. He's a Northampton town sport, so what do you expect? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I feel a bit of rivalry here. Is it healthy? Oh, definitely healthy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so where does the party go to tonight? Surely you're not finished now, are you? 
we're running in a few minutes. So you're not letting us have a little <laughs> run round? You've got to get your, your jerseys on now in a second. One to six. That's it. I'm in yeah. six. Are you? Trap yeah. six. Trap six with the West Brom shirt on. <laughs> all the colours. I don't want to go on to Toy Star or Northampton, but... We don't know. We're what uh, we've been what time are you closing? Right so the mother-in-law had already said, like, just don't tie him naked to any trains. Okay. So well, I'm glad to see I'm glad to see A he's not wearing a dress and B he's not tied to anything. No, not at the moment. We've still got hours are you left. Join us for a drink. You? Uh, no, I won't. I won't. Well, but you're the back of the bus. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I think the last time you had a stag do here, I joined you for a drink, and that didn't work very well. So. Oh. No, she, she, she has been deported now, so you know <laughs> Excellent, lads. On that note, have a great night. Best of luck in five weeks. Thanks for getting involved. Have a good evening, guys. There we have it. Uh, Dave Stagdew getting married in five weeks. I was only joking. He didn't have a Stagdew here before, but I just tried to, thought I'd try and hang him for a second. But, yeah, just um, great nights racing here. Four-timer for Mark Wallace. Two for Jim Reynolds. Two for Hazel Kemp, to name but a few. Um... Some great racing, uh, great crowd here as well tonight. Always good fun. Children's race, great entertainment. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't spin the wheel for a thousand pounds. We spun it, but we didn't win it. So it's there for next week. Uh, Father's Day tomorrow. Plenty going on here at Toaster as well tomorrow evening. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, from from me, from everyone else. Thanks for coming. Safe journey home. I will see you all again soon.